Okay. I do believe we're live. Look at you, first in class today. Denise, CB. Am I seeing the image correct with my computer on my left side over here? Hey, Joan. There's the queen of the hour. Hey, Willina. Okay, great. All right. Um, a little creative. Hi. I have a brain fart and I'm I'm not thinking, I'm not remembering your name, but I know I know you, a little creative. Hey Nancy, Vicky. Hey Z. My brain is say hey, Jan. April. Duh. Hello. Of course I know you. So guys, April, um, that's a little creative on there, sent me um a whole palette of um watercolors that she's selling on her Etsy shop um, for me to um, play with and test. Uh, she also sent them to Cece and I think to Lindsay. So keep your eye out for those. I'll probably do it next in the next week or so because I got to do this stencil thing all week, all weekend. Um, hey, Shauna, Judy, Dr. Dot, Kia. Wow, everybody's piling in. Thanks, guys. Hey, Tiff, how you doing? So let me get right to business first, and then we'll get all this crap out of the way and start to do something. Yesterday, uh, some of the ladies were having trouble checking out of the iStencil site through PayPal. Um, Sherry's been working with PayPal all day, and it's got the design, the um, not the designers, the um, uh, programmers and developers on both sides, the iStencil side and the PayPal side trying to figure it out because it's not consistent. Like last night, I think it was Kathy, uh, Butterfly Smile, or Dragonfly Smiles that got through um, on on uh, PayPal. Hey, Linda, Kia. And um, a lot of people didn't. It would take credit card uh, purchases, but for some reason, PayPal was kicking a lot of people out with an error saying something like, uh, your order doesn't match your cart or something like that. It was very strange. I've never heard of it before. Neither has Sherry. They're on it. So the good news is if you want to place an order and take advantage of the sale uh, and you don't want to use a credit card, um, you can email Sherry at, I should write it down. I'll write it down so I can flash it up here every now and then. Now I need a big fat marker. My big fat marker department. That's going to be too big. It won't fit on the page. Ugh. Um, hello. Let's just use a Sharpie. Let's not complicate the matters. The hell did I put those? I got to stop reorganizing. I'm killing, killing myself here with the reorgs. Oh, this will work. Hey, Johnny or Joni. Oh, good. Now, Joni, let me ask you. This is is it? I'm saying Johnny, Joni Horn. You said you just ordered last night. Did you go through PayPal, or did you use a credit card? Just out of curiosity, it's really random. They're having a heck of a time figuring it out. However, nobody's going to miss out using the coupon that wants to place an order. So, if you don't want to use a credit card or you're not able to use a credit card, email Sherry at this email address. Mail at, let me make sure I'm telling you the right email address. Wouldn't that be a hell of a note? <laughs> and Sherry, where is it here? Yes, mail at iStencils.com, right? That's what you want to do. Um, and mail Sherry and take a snapshot or copy and paste your cart or a list of the stencils that you want and email Sherry at this address. Tell her you got the coupon code for me and um, she will honor that order and we'll send you a try doing a PayPal invoice on Monday. Um, 
And even if it runs over past Monday, she's going to honor this uh, to make sure everybody trying to order this weekend uh, does get it. So you will not be, um, you won't, you won't lose this sale. If you want to order at least mail or email her this weekend at this address, if you can't get through PayPal um, and you will, you will get the sale price. Okay. So let's get going. Here's the details of the sale. Joan Smithies, one of my mods on here um, on Facebook as Crafterholic, Crafter with a K. And she's the newest designer at iStencils. And you can find all of her stencils under my Patty Parish heading. Uh, but they have a JS designation and hers are showing first because of the newest under my heading. Um, Joan gets all the commission, anything from sales. I don't get any of that. It's just we're locating them under my tab so they're easier to find in the 3,800 stencils that they order, uh, that they have on the site available. So it's easier for everybody to find them there. Um, so the coupon code is Joan25. That gets you 25% off the entire purchase, not just out of our categories or our, our stencils designs, out of the whole um, iStencils website. And if you order $50 or more, you get that free stencil that you see there in the picture, right there. And free domestic shipping, which means if you're in the U.S., you get free shipping. If you order $75 or more, you get a $10 gift card to use on a future purchase. And this is good through Sunday night at midnight Eastern. See, Tiff, thanks for popping in at midnight Eastern. Um, and don't forget, if you have any issues trying to check out with PayPal and you don't want to use a credit card, email Sherry at this email address, mail at iStencils.com. She'll make sure you're taken care of. And she will. And this is a print, a jelly print from the, um, from the freebie with some PBO shimmer in there. And that's, this is the copy of the freebie stencil. So these are some of the things that we did last night. Most of you, I think, were here. I'm just going to stack them off to the side. Um, these were a few of the prints. Here's the reverse. And these are all of Joan stencils plus the free stencil. Um, this, I mixed some cream or pigment with some transparent gel medium and raked it through a stencil. This is really strange tonight. I have a, about four second lag on my mini cam, Jean. Isn't that weird? I think Jean's. A, yeah, hey, Jean. Patty seems blurry tonight, or is it just me? Oh, God, I hope not. See, I messaged you on Twitter, man. It's blurry for you guys, too. Well, I wonder why. Uh, I got the resolution on 1080, and uh, I don't know why. Something seems off. Should I kill it and come back in? I'll wait for Jean's advice on that when she's the master. And some of us are fine, and some of it's not. If you are blurry, hover over the video screen and click on the cog and choose HD. Oh, you're talking to the, peep, the peeps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already, this is on set on 1080p. So check your resolution on your computers down in the bottom window. You see that little gear? Click on that and then go to the resolution and up the resolution if it's not already up there and see if that makes a difference. Here it looks crystal clear on my screen. Oh, that's okay, Jean. I, I I like to see what you're uh, if you're doing, giving any kind of direction or anything with the cap. So no worries. How many stencils does? I'm waiting for the rest of that one, Kia. How many stencils does H? Yeah, some of the monitors might default at the lowest, and then April she's on 1080 and it's blurry. What browser are you using, uh, April? Oh, does Joan have? Uh, I don't know, Joan, how many went out there. Was it 20-something? 
sometimes YouTube defaults to the lowest. And she's on April's on Chrome. April, do you see where Janet's saying drop down to 720 and see if that helps? 17, okay, 17 stencils she's got. Jan, okay, you had trouble with PayPal. It's really strange. A couple people told me that they got through PayPal and the majority could not get through PayPal, but it would take their credit card. But I know there were a few that said they didn't want to use a credit card. They wanted to go through PayPal and use their debit cards. And that's fine. Just email Sherry that if you can't get through this weekend before the sale's out. And she'll take care of it uh, early next week. So anyway, this is some of the stuff we did last night. Uh, I just showed you this one twice, didn't I? Slipping, but that's a creamer copper pigment. Uh, scrape through one of Joan's stencils. And this was a piece of watercolor that I lifted off with, um, through a stencil with a um, magic eraser. And then I took a little sparkle gel pen and then traced around the, um, around the stencil. It came out pretty cool. Um, I didn't do the whole thing. I just trying to demo it. And I forgot about the alcohol ink, ink thing. So we're going to pull that off here in a minute. Um, and here's another one. Gold. This is so weird that this is, I got a lag on my mini cam. Uh, that's going to be disturbing, but I'm a little disturbed anyway. They're here. We embossed through uh, one of the, uh, one of Joan's stencils that was embossed. This one I used foil. It didn't stick all the way with the, the, um, the way I did it with the glue, but you get the idea that you could put on the glue through the stencil and then adhere your leaf or foil. Here was another strip of, this is a whole stencil looks like this. I just used the one strip here. And this is where I took the stencil and wiped the, the, wiped the, um, the paint off the stencil. And it just, it, it was the same paint, but it just uh, came out a lot lighter in the reverse. And this was just a clean up. Here's another one. This was the Bits and Bobs one. I remember the name of that. That one's really cute. This was just a little corner of the stencil I did. Just trying to play around last night. If you weren't here last night and want to see how I did these, you can go watch the recording from last night. Um, here I stamped uh, through a stencil with a text stamp and just got kind of a scattered. No, oh, it's upside down. It's French. You can't read it either way, so it doesn't really matter. All right, just for kind of a background thing, I put it on black because I was using copper ink. This was just a cleanup print. So let's pull this off. I don't know how this is going to make out by sitting overnight. So what I did with this is I sprayed Yupo paper. This is on a piece of Yupo paper. I very lightly misted the Yupo paper with alcohol. And Then I took alcohol inks. I had three colors and a silver metallic. And I just squeezed them into the holes of the stencil. And then you let it sit and dry. And what it does is the alcohol underneath pulls the color underneath. Like see where it's, it's bled out all the way around the stencil here? Um, and it looks watercolory. So this, I never let one sit overnight. I hope it even comes off right. <laughs> so we're about to see. Oh, yeah coming off fine. Oh, cool. This is on Terra Skin paper, not Yupo, sorry. And see how on Terra Skin it can go through a little bit? But look, that's really cool. That really looks cool. It looks very watercolory. Is that a word? Watercolory it is now. It's in the Patty Parish Dictionary where I make things up. Isn't that cool? So there's that one. I don't know if this will come off. We'll see. We shall see. That was my piece. I lifted something wet with, that was wet. Now, I wanted to try something right off. Before we start jelly printing, I was itching to try something else because I got, and Sandra, I have your pigments here to ship. Um, 
I've been a little behind this week with everything going on, but from Kramer in Germany, we know somebody in England that was kind of helped us get these over here to us. Um, yeah, it is. It's really, it's, it's very cool. And it's, and it's easy too. Elaine, are you on here? Did you see that? Elaine was, I had noticed that when you check out, it says the choose says PayPal express. You have to have an express account. I don't. I don't even know what an express account is. I don't think, um, don't, did they all say that? You know what? I think Express is just when you've already used it there and it links you right over to it. I don't know. Don't know that answer. But Xander, you have these. I ordered the medium uh, grit or whatever you want to say. Um, and you got the fine. But these are the holographic. Um, let's see if you can see them. The holographic ones we got. So let's put some of this in some of this transparent medium again and run it through a stencil. And I got this one, Cosmic Bronze. I'm thinking that should do something magical. I don't know. Oh, Lord. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So I'm going to grab a little teeny tiny bit of this and do this before I get cranked up on the jelly plate. Uh, let's use a small one because I just need to make a small amount. Um, we'll do both of them. Okay, Jean's credit card worked. So if anybody has any issues, contact me or Sherry. And it's better to go straight to Sherry, to be honest. Um, because all I'll have to do is email her and say, hey, I got this email. So you cut out the middleman, me being the middleman, and go straight to the, the the lady that can help you. Did you get anything else from Creamer Joan when we placed this order? Shara likes to color and chat. Hey Shara, that's a new name. Welcome. Um, I'm about to do a little experiment here. I'm going to take some transparent gel medium and I'm adding some creamer uh, watercolor pigment to it that's holographic. <coughs> My mask, as I get a tickle, that might be too much. You know, I'm going to put some of this on the side and maybe use that for the gold. I might be a little, a little heavy handed on that one. Imagine that. I've never done that before. Uh, you know what? Let me let me take a minute and uh, and I'm gonna email share. I mean, text Sherry. Okay, I'll send her that little tidbit. Huh. Okay, let's get this mushed up here. Now this gel dries clear. So we may not get the final result of this until we wait for it to dry. I'm going to put a teeny bit more in there. Okay. 
I'm actually looking forward to doing some jelly prints tonight. I haven't done it for so long other than the few I did last night. Kind of gave me the itch. Okay. All right. Let's take... Um, I'll do this on black. Oops. Come here. Give me some elbow room. And I'm going to grab whatever stencils we didn't use over here. I'll grab one of these. This is one of Jones called Dream Catchers. That's a really cool one. Joan, you've got some really handy designs. Um, so one thing I want to mention, Joan's stencils are a different size than mine. Any size will work on a jelly plate. Any size will work to make a background or a card. But they are a different size than mine. I just want people to be aware of that. Some of you may really prefer the size that Jones are. Um, I think, what are they like an A4, Joan? I know you told me this. Hey, Debbie. Um, I'm going to say 11 and something by 9. Yes, it's A4. So these are A4 size, which she's allowed to do since she's sitting in the UK. All right, let's drag some of this. I have no idea how this is going to look or work because I've never used this pigment before and surely never mixed it with um, a gel medium. All right. You know what? I'm going to use I'm going to use more because I'm going to have extra left over. So I might as well use more. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'll use the silver down one side and the gold down the other. And you can see them side by side. I'm not watching the chat right now, guys. So just in case. Um, I'll see if that text was Sherry giving me an answer. I mean, actually, the, the information you guys were giving me was a big help to her trying to rule stuff out with her developers. Um, and that's when they realized that it was something going on with PayPal that they have never experienced before. So, um, I'm going to leave that on there and I'm going to grab this. Put this down here. Grab some gold. From what I researched, Paypal Express is just an option to be actual merchant to allow customers to use the info on PayPal for shipping, not a separate account. I didn't think it was, um, Jean. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome, Jean. Um, Jean was looking, had been looking for a cinch, and I had one sitting here for. A long time. I used it, I think, to make two books. And then there it sat. So I sent it to her. Oh, Joan, okay, I see. She's saying she had to make them A4 because her Mylar sheets when she was making and cutting her own mask um, came in A4. So all her designs were sized that way. That makes sense. Okay. Let's get some of this down here. Trying to get a nice even coat. You can see where I skipped some spots there and didn't have... Uh, Now, 
somebody let me know if you see Tamara, 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 the kid was in the UK. Uh, she was with us last night and had a question. Uh, if you guys can bring it to my attention, if you see her pop in chat and I miss her. That would be awesome. Hey, Riri. Okay, here we go. Now, right now, to you, that probably looks white and beige. But there's a whole lot of sparkle happening in there. So, um, whoops. We'll set that aside and let it dry. And, you know, I might have to go out and uh, actually take this one to the sink. I'm not a neat freak on my stencils, but this is like a 3D gel. I'm going to take this one to the sink uh, real quick, guys, because this is going to... I miss a spot, and it's kind of clear. Uh, no, Ray Ray, it's not resolved yet, but we have a workaround. Hey, Kim. How are you? Kim Cataldo is one of my buddies that went to... She's been at the house a couple times and uh, went to uh, Remy and Ocracoke with me. That was a hoot and a half. But um, yes, it's been it's not been resolved, but I have a workaround. Let me get this stencil washed off before it dries and remind me to explain it to you because I'll forget by the time I get back. Well, I'm glad I did that because there were quite a few little boogers stuck in the little little cracks and crevices of this design. So the workaround. Yeah, they did flash off because no, it wasn't your imagination, Gene. I went to the um, other side of our basement, and my side is on one switch, and that side's on another switch. The sinks on that side. So when I turned that light on, I accidentally turned this one off instead. I wondered if you guys noticed that little faux pas. But um, all right, let's see how that rolls. Get rid of that gnarly mess. And I want to take just because I can. I want to take this cosmic. That really looks good in there. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Er? No, it just looks orange to you. Let me, I just want to take a little bit of this with water. And I want to see what's so magical about cosmic bronze. This is another pigment I got. Holy moly. <laughs> this is one that Kramer in the States doesn't have. Oh, my. Hello, lover. Should have got a big old bottle. Oh, my. Wait till you see this puppy. Oh, it keeps going and go going. Oh, my. Did I say that already? Oh, my, to infinity. I'm trying to use, get all of it off my brush. Wow. Oh, Mama's going to make and be making you into a pan or two very soon. Okay, let me use, did I get that one? Uh, nosy. You just got out of this, you just got the, um, the silver and the gold holographic. Because the other one, that desert gold, remember they didn't have that? Oh, the workaround. Thank you. See how quick I forgot that? telling you. So um, anybody who's having issues with the eye stencil site checking out, it's a known issue. It's a PayPal issue. 
The developers on both sides have been working on it all day. They still don't have it resolved. It's it's very random because some people can check out with PayPal and some people uh, can. And the ones who can't can check out using a credit card. So for those who can't check out and don't want to use um, a credit card, email sherry at mail at iStencils.com this weekend before the sale expires. And come Monday, if there's no resolution, she will mail you or she will email you um, a PayPal invoice and skirt around the system that way or do whatever. But you will not miss lose using the coupon. She'll make sure that anybody um, that, that emails her gets this discount, the free stencil, the free shipping if it qualifies, the 10% card if it's over 75, all that stuff. Um, Z, I think you might find some of this in your, a little pan might show up here or there. So, um, wow. This isn't dry yet. You can't, you can't appreciate what went through the stencil, but I just want you to see this cosmic bronze. It's a shift. Oh, hello. Sorry, there's a there's a lag in my camera and I keep overshooting because it doesn't catch up with me. Let me see if you can see the red in there. And it's one of those real sparkle, farkle ones. Let's see if it'll focus for me. There we go. There we go. It is yum malicious. It's got a pink and a red and an orange. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not as it shifts and moves. You know, they're always hard to show on screen. That's really nice. I'm going to let that one sit up there and dry. Remind me, we got to go back to that. Somebody, I'm going to blame it on somebody else. Is Patty back yet? And the spinning star. I'm here. Here I am. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, Send Sherry an email or send an order um, to that email address and you will get the sale. Credit card. But order, use PayPal. So I'll email her. What is her name? Her name is Sherry. C-H-E-R-I. Patty, I think that's one of I think that one. That's the ones who did check out on used guest status on iStencil. Therefore, there was no conflict with iStencil's info. And PayPal info could be important. I don't know. Yeah, her name is Sherry, C-H-E-R-I, and mail her at mail at iStencils.com. All right. Let's get back to business. Um. I tried guest status and it wouldn't let me check out that way either. Yeah, there's something strange going on with um, uh, PayPal. And they're on it. They'll make sure you get your, uh, you'll get your, uh, your sale. You won't miss the sale. You just might have to email her if you don't want to go by credit card to get it. So, oh, Riri, you got it? Or you mean you understand what I'm saying? Or you, you got through. Oh, thanks, Z, for putting her uh, email address out there. Okay. Um, I was trying to think of how we could combine some of my stencils and some of Joan's designs. I'm trying to think of what might be a go together kind of deal. Here's the one. I like this one. It looks like eyeballs to me. Oh, it didn't go through. Yes to both. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, let's see.
All right, I don't know what I'm doing, so let's just go. Let's just start throwing some paint. Let's see what happens. I have an idea. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, just email Sherry. She'll take care of everybody. Oh, hell, that's the turquoise one. I thought I had, oh, I don't have the black one of these out here. Hold on, where's my black? Oh, I learned Leslie Onstad from uh, Color Arts. It doesn't look like eyeballs or suns or eyeballs. Very tribal. Um, Leslie called me today and she was telling me about her new, um, she's, for those who like resin art, you know, all her primary element pigments that make these vivid metallics and the silks and the twinks and all that stuff, all those same elements. She's now got them in resin. And I've seen, uh, oops, excuse me, not the artist. That was the tube. Um, she has some videos out on YouTube. And um, she's going to send me some to play with. So I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. It might cause me to go into another downhill spiral into another media. <laughs> Um, this is just black. So I want to put something kind of stark. Um, in the background, my PayPal rejected my order. Total do did not. Peggy, um, did you hear what we were talking about just a little while ago? Hey, Janice. We were talking about just a while ago about the workaround for that. There's something going on with PayPal and developers on neither side can figure it out because it's random. It works um, for some people. It doesn't work for others, which really makes it odd. You'd think it would just not work or work, but it's, it's random. It's hit or miss with who's using it. So this is one of mine. And I'd love to tell you what the name of it is. It's upside down. I think it's just called Animal. You animal. And this is just deli paper. I'm printing on deli because those I can pretty. Oh, did I have some on my hands? Or did it come through the deli? I do not know. So that's kind of stark, and that's what I wanted. I'm going to do another print because. There's paint there, and you can see where that deli puckers on some of the colors and see how that's got like ripples in it now. That's going to print that texture when I pull it. See nuts and three. Good evening. Hello. Thank you for joining us. All right. Let's get these printed and let these start to dry a little bit off to the side. Oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to see if I can do one of my patina prints while I have this black in the face. Hi, Patty. Has Sherry checked to see if it has anything to do with a donation? Because I didn't... Uh, to click my cart, but if it's sitting at the bottom of my cart list, that could be the issue. Donation. I don't even know what you're talking about, Jean. Is there? I haven't. I haven't checked out of there because she sends me my stuff. I don't have to buy it. So, purchase some Joan Patty stencils early. Oh, thanks, Janice. We both appreciate that. I can assure you. I'm so glad to see you back in chat. I'm just cleaning off the back of this one now. And before this dries, I'm going to go in and add a couple PBO colors to this. Oh, to add a donation stencil. No idea. So I'm going to put a little of the yellow green down there and a little of the blue green. Oops. Got paint all over me already. We just started. 
all look like a, a rainbow. I think she means, uh, I think Joan's talking about a donation you can make, not just the free one. So what I'm going to try to do is a, what I call a patina print. I played in, and I, I kind of, I never saw anybody do this until I did it. So I think I did it. I think I invented it. <laughs> I'm going to take credit for this one because I've never seen it before. But anyway, what you do is, I need harder paper to roll this on. <coughs> I left the wet black negative of the stencil down there, or positive, I guess. And now I put the, the shiny colors over it. And now I'm going to take the roller, the brayer, and just the weight of the brayer, I'm just going to let it go over and pick up some of the extra color on top of that, right? There I missed some here. I'm going to do it there again. And you can start to see the shape of the stencil where there's taken off the excess paint, right, is all I'm doing. Good Lord. But that one really munged up. I'm going to have a mess here. And then I'm going to take a piece of deli. So, Debbie, are you saying that the donated stencil shows? Or what shows? The freebie, probably. I know this is a really horrible time for this glitch to have happened with PayPal. Because... Um, you know, you want the sale and all the stuff when you're really pushing them to go smoothly. And Sherry's really not happy about it and, and, is, and is sorry about, um, you know, everybody having a painful checkout process and some not being able to. So she said, she told me this afternoon just to assure everybody they will not miss the coupon code because of this. So don't panic if you can't get through. Okay, let's see what we got. Sometimes this looks like patina like an old patina kind of thing and sometimes it doesn't so much but it still looks pretty cool trying to get the gleam of pbos to show doesn't look like it's hitting the light just right but you guys can disturbing with this lag on this <laughs> All right, let's put you over here to dry because you're pretty, 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 pretty. Um, and I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to use this one again and pick up the little bits off of this to clean the plate a little bit. Not a clean up print, just to clean up some of the wet paint. Thanks, Kim. Riri, remember, if you don't want to use your credit card, you don't have to. Just email Sherry, and she'll straighten it out with you next week, as long as she, she gets the email during the sale. It's, you know, the day, it's dated then. Now, what I wanted to do was I think I'm going to use, what's this one? This is one of the True Metal Dragon Gold. Now, um, let's, this, so anyway, the, I started telling you about, I was talking to Leslie, and she taught me something today. I just sent Sherry an issue asking, right? Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jean. Yeah, Sherry is very sorry about the, you know, about it, but nobody's going to miss out on the coupon. So don't worry about that. Martinez, how the heck are you, my friend? How's the weather there? I saw where Jean was trying to, um, Kim, you probably saw that too, where Jean posted where she was trying to get the shop. In Vass, I'm talking about Jody Ole and Jean Skipper's shop that handled the Remy retreats. She was trying to flood prep her shop there in Vass, North Carolina. 
No, it's not a no for sure. It's more of a headache to them than uh, lots of rain. I bet. Are you are you right in Bass? Do you live in Bass? So what Sherry told me was, <coughs> not Sherry, sorry, Leslie from Color Art, who makes these gorgeous paints. She said to because the the metal ones particularly the pigment is so heavy. I know ochre coke. I know Kim. Me too. I wonder how that their Remy house is going to make out down there. Absolutely. Um, she told me that the metal pigment is so heavy in these that as they sit, they will separate because it's going to drop through that medium. And shaking them, it'll get you there, but you got to shake your brains out. She said it's much easier to take the cap off. Yeah. I hope Maggie makes it through. <laughs> The ghost of the Remy house. Um, so she said to take a skewer and go in. And I can feel the weight of the pigment on the bottom of this. But she said if you take a, um, a skewer. Let me get some of these boogers off of here. If you take a skewer. A skewer. And stir it. Yeah, that maybe, you know, oh, <laughs> don't scare me, Kim. So Kim was my roommate when we went to Remy. Um, gosh, I guess it's, uh, I don't know, was it three years ago we went? To the one that was in Ocracoke. And they have an old historic house that they rent there. Well, when rumor has it that it's haunted. I was fine until that rumor surfaced. So Kim was my roommate. And the last... <laughs> The last couple nights once I realized that I mean, when I had to pee through the night several times I made her get up with me I know well I didn't see it um Terry that works there and and Patty that works that owns it have both claimed to have seen it and got hit in the head by it oh don't tell me that I'm down in the basement by myself but anyway I was so spooked out that stuff creeps me out I made Kim get up and walk to the bathroom with me in the night because we had to walk down this long dark hallway that was creepy on a good night it was dark real dark paneling it was old historic building and that was a long hallway to this bathroom and people wrote in the guest book where they saw a white dog run through the hallways that had died there and I was like, oh jesus i wouldn't walk down at the ground i love dogs but i don't want to see a ghost of one run around <laughs> holy crap Okay, I think this is pretty good now. I do believe. I'm trying to get it off the skewer now instead of wasting any of it. Um, everyone's snoring. <laughs> oh, God. I can't snore. But I do remember having some neighborly snorers okay now, I'm gonna, now that i got that loosened up i'm gonna give it a little i know kim that like to freak me out when she said she told me i uh, didn't you tell me on the drive home <laughs> that she didn't want to tell me to scare me but she felt like a presence on her shoulder oh god i got goosebumps saying it out loud change the subject how about that weather how about them hose <laughs> ay 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 All right, let's see what we got here. I'm tired of shaking. I know nobody on YouTube wants to watch me shake a paint that long. But that's that's what happens during the live broadcast. But this paint is worth a shake, let me tell you. Because this is shiny, shiny, shiny metallic. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And they're so sheer at the same time as they are heavy. Very strange. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that over those people. Oh, hell, it's to my CB. We're going to be getting some crap this time, my friend. <laughs> but look at that over top of that, um, that PBO. <laughs> okay, stop yapping and put down the stencil. Remember what you started out to do. Okay, so here's Jones. Tribal drawing, this one's called. 
I'm calling it eyeballs. And I thought that over something stark like this might look cool. So I could be right, I could be wrong. We're about to find out. And just so you know, I'm usually wrong. Um, you know, I'd have to test each one for you um, to tell you the truth. So this is Vivid um, Ultra Metallics by Color Art. It's a, a an enamel, I think it's got an enamel base to it, but it's an acrylic paint, acrylic polymer dispersion, medium tinting. They are freaking awesome. You should see the silver one. Um, Martinez, he, he, um, so I'm calling him by his last name because that would, is what he preferred. I'm not just because he's a man. I'm not just trying to say, Hey, Martinez. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's his preference to be called Martinez. I met him down at, when I went with uh, Dave down the Pinehurst for his golf trip last April. Um, he's one of the artists at Jody and Jean's studio. Let's see. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, not bad. I think it might have looked better with the... Oh, because the animal kind of looks tribal too, right? Oops, sorry. This is all over the place because I have that lag and I don't know what's happening there. That's kind of tribally. Is that a word? I'm making up words again. And I'm just doing this to clean off the stencil because I want to pick this up, which is the reverse of this. Without this, I don't want this to dry either. So I'll pick that up and then. I'm going to pick this up on black. Let's try that. This is just black bond paper, printer paper weight. They're, they are scrumptious. Um, do I have the silver one up here? Yeah, I'm going to make sure this one's mixed up. and Well, there's a swatch of it I put on the front of the jar. If I can get it to catch the light right. When it dries, it kind of looks like chrome. I mean, it is silver, shiny silver. It's beautiful. I think, I'm not sure, Martinez, she may be having a, a sale. It's color art. And color is C-O-L-O-U-R. Art with an E. I don't know if I can get this to focus that small. Hello. Come on, Mama. This lag is really odd, Jean, tonight. Well, there you go. Colorart.com. Right? And she makes everything she makes on that site is based out of her primary elements, which you can buy the pigment separate. And they're all like duotone pigments. They're freaking awesome. And that's the same pigment she's put in this resin. You should see. Hi, Connie. Here's a new name. Welcome. That's just what was left on the plate. And it's got some of the turquoise in there from the, the PBO from the Katina print. Cool. Um, I'm just watching what you're saying, uh, Gail, about Berkeley Springs flooding. Even that little bit on there is really cool. Does my, you guys tell me if my, um, go to bed, Dorothy. <laughs> you guys in the UK are going to be pooped. Um, tell me if, 
Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move my hand and talk as I'm moving my hand. Maybe I'll count and that'll give you a reference. And let me know if this is synced or if my voice is off from what my movements are. So I'm just going to count up to five on my hand using my fingers, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm anxious to see what you guys saw because on many cam that I'm looking at, Gene, I was three fingers behind. I was on three before my thumb moved. It's off. See, what is going on with that? Who the hell knows? Okay, let's use another one of Jean's. Um, what color shall we use there? Let's do... Um, This is another vivid, but this isn't a metal one. The metals are true metal in theirs. They have a bunch of true metal ones. And they're the ones that have the weight that they're so heavy. Finger and a half off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everybody's got a different number of fingers off. Patty just did a quick private stream test and no lag on my mini cam. Isn't that weird? What are you going to do? Anyway, this is... Um, called lemongrass. This is an ultra metallic, but it's not a, it's metallic, but it's not a true metal pigment. Let's see what happens here. Let's mix this with something crazy. Something crazy. Jasmine. This is a hot pink. Isn't that weird? Everybody's off by a different number. One and a half to three fingers. Or one to three. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's so frustrating. Nothing I can do about it. I don't know what this might make mud, but it's going to be shiny mud like baby poop. Shiny baby poop still pretty, right? I've always said that. I don't know, that may have been a no-no. I'm all about the no-nos. All right, let's drop this one in. This one's called Split Ovals. This is one of Jones. I'm going to pick that up on black just for giggles, and I'm not sure. I think it'll be good. You never know. Oh, Lord, Jean, do you I don't want to lag. Three fingers of bourbon. Uh. Hey, Fairy Treasures. I've seen that name before. Welcome back. Or maybe you were on Xander's stream that I saw. I don't know, but I've seen your name. Oh, look at that. The color shift pigment showed up. Where that one was real yellow. Look at the green that's showing on the print because it's black and it shows the other pigment. And look how dark the bright purple is. We're showing that dark purple instead of that hot pink. Isn't that crazy how that shows up like that? It's very shiny. Let's do, let me pick this up on white and see. I'm just going to clean this off on the back of this. Oh, you know what? Let's we'll use this. I'm going to make a sandwich. Put that down and put this over top of it and clean the stencil so a little bit of that shimmer will get on this black and white one. Is that Ange here? I didn't see her. Hey, Ange. So tomorrow I'm going to come on at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, and... Uh, I'll be on for probably two hours. Not seeing much of a shine on that one. Let's see what this one's going to do for me. What are you going to do for me? Oh, that one's shine.
That's the reverse. That's the image of the stencil, actually, right? The positive and the negative. Oh, my fairy treasure is another end. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, let us try. This is just an Amsterdam acrylic called Greenish Blue. Let's do um, let's do an ombre kind of a thing. Let's do that. Let's do um, this is teal, golden teal fluid. I have to get some of my other colors because I know everybody gets bored with me using my purples and teals. But I'm the boss of my stream, so that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Penny, I think it may be your connection. We're getting some buffering, and your quality dropped a couple times. What the hell? Um, from here, from what I can see, everything looks fine, other than that lag in Minicam, which is pissing me off, I got to tell you. Oops, hang on. I think I got a little booger. Right there. Yes, I do. All right. Let's do a little bit of this. This one's called, this is another Ultra Snapdragon. That is a pretty one. They're all pretty. I mean, if you like shimmery stuff, got to tell you. Oh, you, you approve of my colors, Kim? Thank you. What's that damn squeaky brayer? Sure, I have a person to drink. And then I'm just going to kind of ombre it down. Gonna get rid of some of that so I can get some plain purple down here. Let me try to get it off to the edge a little bit more. And then let's bring it up and just really lightly brayering it to try to get it to blend up the plate. All right, let's see what we get out of that. Let's see. Oh, what stencil am I going to use? Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to use this one. I love this one. This is one of mine. And this is one of my favorites called Cave Etchings. Sounds like a cricket. I'm telling you, I could kick that cricket to the curb. Kelly, please. Oh, check my old apartment. I need to check something. You know, I love, they're my favorite brayers, but it doesn't take them long to start squeaking. This is one of my favorite designs. But I'll show you one coming up, and I'm going to mix it with one of Jones. I don't know which one. That is one of the most versatile stencils, and it's nothing but stripes. Put a little pop of black or something over top of there. I'm trying to get that purple to show. It might have to dry in this deli to um, show its sparkly shine. Look at you. Let me grab you off of there. This is the reverse. And I'm going to take... Just a little bit with the gold on it. I'm just going to clean my stencil off on that and see what happens. See what happens. So if anybody new came in recently, I'm doing all these stencil designs because it's an eye stencil sale. 
introducing Joan Smithies as um, their newest designer. And you can find her stencils on I stencils under my Patty Parish heading rather than sorting through 3,800 other stencils. Um, that's just a cleanup sheet. This is nothing fantastic. Layer after layer after layer, it can sometimes end up being my favorite. You can see where these some of these designs are filled in. I still had a lot of paint left there where they're not white. Let's put you over there. Still a little wet. Let's try picking that up on here too. Oh, you know what I might do? I might have enough on here to do a cleanup print, but I want to do it through a stencil. So let me find one that's got open, big open spaces. I should do something with the freebie too, because everybody will be getting that. I should do that one again. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe, oh, this one, this one, this one. This one here is circles and curves. This will be a good one to show. Thanks for the link, Z. Um, and see, as this is drying more, you see more of the... I don't know why the shimmer's not showing as much on camera tonight. Something's definitely askew. Because that's really shimmery in person. My pretty painted stencil from my ombre print last night. Trouble with PayPal email, Sherry. Yep, at mail at iStencils.com. I don't I didn't see who had a problem, but there's a known problem with PayPal that Sherry and her staff have been working on all day since last night. And um, it's so it's random. It, PayPal works for some and not for others, which makes it really tricky for the developers to try to figure out because they can't. They can't pinpoint what the problem is because it's not consistent. So you will not lose out on the sale or the coupon. If you can't get through, you can get through with a credit card. If you don't want to use a credit card, use that mail that Xander just linked there. Uh, mail at iStencils.com and mail Sherry before the sale expires. And she will take care of you. She said, don't, don't worry about it. And she's not going to run out of stock. If anybody's worried about that, she cuts to order. So there's there's not like 10 of these left and somebody's not going to get one. Um, everybody who, who meets the requirements of the orders will get one. Look how pretty that paint is on there. Look how shiny and pretty the stencil is. Okay, so um, what did I say I was going to do a cleanup? Okay, do I have enough on there for a cleanup? I don't know if I do or not. Maybe I ought to do a couple more before I do that. We'll put you over there. I'll do one of these. That'll get it gooked up pretty good. So, um, let's do something weird. Let's just do black and white. I'm reading Jean's chat here. Patty broke me. <laughs> broke you too. Damn it. I didn't mean to. So I'm just going to do some black and white and get some shades. Shades of gray. 50 shades of gray. Hey, Sharon. Let's do that. Oh, excuse me. Again. Paint tube. I should get another paint tube. It's a little disturbing. Get that on there. I'm going to need to take a shower. So let's just get this kind of mushed around and come up with 50 shades of gray, shall we? Oh, this one's not rolling. What the hell happened? There we go. Good Lord, Joan. Jean, why do you let me put this much paint on here? Why do you do it? I haven't jelly plated in I don't know how long. But I can't really use that as an excuse because I always use too much freaking paint. But that's why CZ gets the, I mean, not CC, CB. There's too many initials around this, this group. <laughs> C, 
CB, it's all my roll-offs. i got to let that one dry and then put some more shimmery back in there for you. Well, since I had to roll it so many times to get it thinned out, I might not get the... Um, and you know what? I'm going to put it on the back because I don't want to lose that pretty <laughs> paint on that stencil. I know that sounds ridiculous. But it won't be the first time I've sounded ridiculous. Do you do the same thing, Joan? Yeah, Chrome, Chrome seems to be the one that works the best, I guess, since they own the, the YouTube world, Google. And now Kia's having chat problems. What else is going to go wrong with the sale this weekend? What's happening? As Oakley would say, oh my goodness. Oh, did you see Oakley's video last night? He saw Shadow, his little buddy. Oh, that's on your end, Kia. Night, Norma. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I said, ooh, like a bad thing, but ooh, like who? Not ew. See the difference? Ew. Ew. Look how 3D that bad boy looks. I love that one. Oh my goodness, I love it. So let's see, what can I put that on? <clears throat> and do I have anything? You know, just for gigs. Let's, let's, I don't know. What's that going to look like? Well, there's one way to find out. Actually, there's too much paint on there. That's going to just block this out. So let's, oh, you know what? This is Deli, and this is just a cleanup print. Let's, for shits and giggles, as we say. Maybe you don't say that, but I say that. Did we get Mojo a puppy? No, Mojo is the one we lost. Oh, did we get La Mojo as a puppy? We did. He was 12 weeks old when we got him. Sorry, I misread that, Denise. And we got Babe when she was eight weeks. And we got Knucklehead. He was seven and a half weeks. Oh, that's kind of interesting where the green's kind of showing through the little peaks. Hello, up here. You can see that green shining through a little bit. This lag is making me crazy. It usually is like very little lag. Um, and this, I'm just going to pick this up one here. Try to clean up the paint a little bit. Riri, uh, Joan, uh, Jean was saying that she did some research and that the Express is not a separate account. He, he had a little bit of hyperness in him, Mojo did, but he, no, he was not, he was not as honorary as Oakley is. Oh my God, that dog's going to kill me. He's so dang on cute, though. He gets away with it. But we have a, actually, we have a trainer tomorrow afternoon coming to the house. And um, IY isn't. Oh, I don't, I don't know uh, what it is, Riri. Um, Jean said she looked into it. And found some information. She might be able to explain herself a little bit better. I am clueless at the moment. All right. What do we got here? Got enough interesting stuff going on on the plate. That's so munged up. It's hard to tell what's on there. What is? What does it do for you, PayPal Express? What are you agreeing to? You laugh so hard at the Mojo video. 
Uh, Mojo doesn't do them, Sharon. Uh, Oakley does. Mojo is the one that we lost. I've never used, I've never, I don't know. I've never had PayPal, uh, even had the opportunity to use it without um, a pay, without logging in with a password. Even some sites that direct you like right to it and it pops up, I always have to put in my password. I don't know. I do not know to tell you the truth. So these are starting to dry. And take my glasses off to see it. It's, it's still wet. I can start to see the shimmer come up in the gold. This is the gold holographic creamer pigment. I mixed with a transparent 3D matte gel. Focus for mama, please. Give me a little focus. There you go. But it's not dry yet, so you're not really getting the full effect. I'll try to get the silver side. Kind of looks like it's got a blue cast to it right now, but that's not dry either. There you go. You can see that rainbow effect in there. I guess it's so, but this watercolor, the cosmic bronze, did dry. Hello, lover. Look at you. See that? Wow, oh, this damn lag. Hello. Come on. Look how bright that flash is on that one. Ah, and that one's only available in Germany. Damn it. Oak Oakley is a mess. He's the one that does the videos. <laughs> yes, he has quite the presence online, I got to tell you. All right, let's see. Is, is there any? Oh, you know what? I haven't shown the round ones yet. You know what? I'm not going to get out my round jelly plate. I'm just going to use them on here. Oh, what was I going to do with this? A cleanup print. Let's do that. It's really pretty in person. Really pretty cosmic bronze. Well, I don't know why they won't. They don't sell this in New York. I'm gonna. I'm gonna email. Roger and ask him. We need to get a load of this in New York, please. Oakley does have a fan club. Actually, to be to be honest, it's it's so cute. I can't tell you how many people have emailed me uh, private messages. Um, to please put out more Oakley videos. One one lady wrote me that her, her husband was very ill, and every day he asked her, what does Oakley have to say today? Because she said it always makes him smile. I'm all over the place tonight. Hell, that's not different than any other night, Denise. <laughs> I am sorry to say. Um, I'm going to try. This is African Jade. This is one of my yummy favorites. Let's mix that with... Oh, my label came off on this one. I don't know what this is, but it's... Um, I'll think of the name of it. It's, uh, damn it, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Patty, can you try the curves and circles with aqua and then take the stencil off and sponge on white and the circles? Wait a minute, say you try the curves and circles, this one, with aqua, then take the stencil off and sponge on white in the circles. Well, I'm not, I'm not exactly 100% sure what you mean, but I'll do the first step and then we'll go from there. You can coach me. Lord knows I need it. He, I get I get a lot of emails. 
it's really it's really cute that so many people actually pay attention to that and think it's funny. I sit here and just come up with stupid stuff for him to say. And um, when we play it back in his voice on that app, it just tickles me. We sit up there laughing like lunatics when I already know what I said. Don't waste too much of this, you knucklehead. Um, but yeah, I'll keep doing them as long as, you know, people that really need a smile like it. If anybody else gets sick of it, they can unfriend me. <laughs> Patty, can you try to turn on my back? Is this one curves and circles? This one's curves and circles. This is kind of an aqua, right? We'll do this. On black or white, Z, this is all real shiny. It's funny, Denise. I just kind of wing it. Um, I, I know what I'm going to talk about, but I never know what I'm going to say. And you get one take. So I might do three or four before I get what I'm saying right. And sometimes... I screw it up when I'm really like a minute and a half in and I, I screw it up and then I cuss and then it comes out in his baby voice when we replay it. Not good. I'm not seeing an answer. I'm going to lift it on black. I can redo it if you didn't mean black. Seeing how you want teal and then white. I'll put it on black. Oh, you're playing for Joe and Destiny. Oh. Yeah, I wing it. I just, I wing life. Oh, I got some good news, though. Um, speaking of winging it in life, I had um, my third CT scan of my um, right lung and right kidney that they've been watching for about a year and a half. And the nodules there are still stable. So that was good news. Ha ha. Look at their shininess. So let me, I'm going to clean that up. A Do a clean up in black too and see what I get. Yeah, so um, they're still stable. They're saying that what's in my lung, um, they're tiny. Uh, one's two and one's three millimeters. They're tiny, but um, and they've been stable for three scans. So um, they're saying that I could have been born with the ones in my lung, or it could be something that I've inhaled somewhere along my life. Uh, my friend Gail thinks it's a hunk of calamari. <laughs> um, Still picking up some of that shimmer on this little pickup plant uh, pull. And new. So I got the reverse underneath there. So I'm going to pull that on black too. Since we're going, we're going pretty good here with black. But, um, and, and she said none of the other markers or anything are showing as if there could be anything active going on. So we are no longer worrying about that one. I never was too worried about it actually when the first one came back okay. I wasn't too thrilled when we found them in the first place, but third scan and it's stable. I'm good. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Uh, paints I used on that one were Vivid Ultra Metallics. And I think this one's called Teal Zircon. It's like all coming back. Um, but I think this one is Teal Zircon. And they're. Um, you can almost see the color shift in, in this African jade green pigment in there. And that's what shows up on the green when you put it on black. See that green that's in there? You get the color shift. 
sometimes you see the opposite. I don't know. You can't really see it. It's there's green in there. There you go. You can see a little bit of that shift in there. Um, I love the stencil. This is one of my favorites, Joan, curves and circles. So let's just clean and see. I ran my mouth. Now I got paper sticking to the freaking stencil. Well, I can't be trusted. I'm going to have to soak that one because look how it's stuck on there. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. What was the name? What was the name of the stencil? Oh, you're welcome, Tammy. Yeah, it's really nice. It's called Curves and Circles. It's a it's one of Jones. Her JS007. 007. All right. Now here's the one that's still pulling that paint up on the other side. So you get the opposite, right? These are the holes. And this one's the stencil. And you put them together and you got a whole plate of paint, right? Because it's positive and negative. Groovy. Okay, so now that <coughs> excuse me. Um that's gonna have to dry a little bit. I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on this one later. I won't make you wait for me to go to the sink and turn the lights off again. Now take deli so you can sponge the white and the circles. Take deli. So you don't want me to sponge the white over these? Is that not what you were talking about? Now take deli so you can sponge the white in the circles. Why am I being so dense? Vivid Ultra Metallics is the name. Is that what you're talking about, Sharon? It's by Color Art. Color with a U, Art with an A. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. No, it's not craft paint. This is a high-end acrylic that's made with really well the primary elements. Um, it's I mean you can use it as craft paint, but it's not like the little bottles of craft paint that I call craft paint that you find in Michaels. I that's what I thought too. Um, Jean, but when she said deli, that's what hosed me up. <laughs> you can't throw too much at me at once, I'm telling you. So now I got my stencil hosed up here, but let's see if I can make it work. So you're saying, <coughs> excuse me, lay this back on here and sponge white in the holes in the circles? Is that what you're saying? It's not high flow in that, like, when I think high flow, I'm, I think it's really thin and you can use it in an airbrush. It's not like that. It's like a more of the texture of a golden fluid acrylic or maybe a little heavier than that. Uh, they're, they're gorgeous, Jenny. Um, okay. Z, I'm going to, I think that's what you mean. So let's do it. I'll just put a little bit of white on my jelly plate. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jean, we're on the same page. All right, let's do it this way with a little makeup sponge. Dab some off. Oh, now how am I not going to get it on there? Oh, that's going to be a trick. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Hopefully this is what you meant, Z. Are we going for a bubble look? Is that what we're doing? 
try not to get this sponge outside the stencil. I'm going to have to cut it. I get down to the smaller ones. Let's see how these work. I'm not watching chat right now. I'm trying to pay attention for a change. Oh, shit. See, just as I say that. Oops, I think I said shit. Uh -uh. I, I know what she's getting at, CB. I know we're working the mermaid angle. I'm with her now. Um, I want to see, where did I put my little spongy daubers? Wouldn't that be handy? Hold on. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Hello. Work. Let me use one of these little numbers since it's round. Instead of putting a square peg in the round hole, let's think, Patty, think. I can see it kind of blending with the um, with the blue, but you definitely will see it. Hang on. Ooh, these tiny ones, I'm going to have to get an even smaller one. Oh, is, um, is Martinez still with us? My lag is five minutes. Holy crap. What the hell are you thinking, Patty? Oh, God, what did I do? I don't know. Use a post to a post it over the areas you don't want white to go through. I'm just using a paint, I mean, a brush that's going to do that for me because I don't want this to take too long, but I do want to. Hang on, let me get a smaller one. A teeny tiny one. I think I have a smaller one. Oh, yeah. Different kind, but I got it. Oh, good, Riri. That was a battle. Sherry's really sorry about you guys having trouble with this and it not being a smooth product. Oh, and that's weird. So Tammy's not doesn't have a lag. I think uh, maybe a competitor's trying to sabotage us. <laughs> oh, probably shouldn't say that. Somebody will think I'm serious. The lawyers will be after me. Just a joke, people. Just a joke. So is Martinez still here? Maybe he's getting a lag or maybe he's not here with us anymore. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of the stencil. Oh, Z, it looks really cool. Oh, look at you. Oh, the live. Okay. That looks really cool, Z. Hello, lover. Great idea. Man, you're making me look good. <laughs> Let me put that up there. I got shit everywhere now. I'm going to have to go wipe my paint out of my... Um... Well, I guess I'm not going to use my watercolor tonight. So I can put it in my watercolor jar instead of having a... I just want to try to... What? I got this one caked with paint. And paper, and it's my favorite. Okay, we'll have to deal with you a little later. I'll have to soak that baby in water and some maybe some Murphy's oil soap. That was a great idea. Anybody else got a great idea? 
I could use one. So I want to put these little daubers. I'm going to try to get most of this out of here. These suckers hold a lot of paint. I'll put those in my watercolor jar. At least they'll stay wet. This was my white one I was pouncing with. What else can I pounce? <laughs> let's pounce something. Here, let's take this one. And now that it dried, I can handle this a little bit better and show you what this one looks like. Uh, no, Vivid is it's, it's acrylic. It's water soluble. You clean it with soap and water or just water. Nope, it's regular old kind of acrylic. Yep, clean up with soap and water. For slower drying time, add me uh, glazing medium or retarder. To modify consistency, use acrylic mediums or water. Best adhesion apply to clean, non-oily surfaces. Yep, it's just a regular old spectacular acrylic. Um, let me think. Let me think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? I wonder what this would look like. This is another one of mine. This is um, Tribal River, it's, this one's called. I wonder if we did some white. That's a lot of white, though. I'll just do a little bit of it. I won't bore everybody with doing this whole thing. Murphy's also, I remember when you streamed that, Sandra, I couldn't believe how clean those suckers got. Uh, you, you can only get them online, uh, Tammy, at the colorart.com website. It's color, C-O-L-O-U-R, art, A-R-T-E. Thanks, E. Colorart.com. And they're the ultra vivid. And she just told me this morning when I talked to her that um, she came out with some more new colors because this was, well, it's not new anymore. It's probably been out for a year and a half or so, but she's, she had, I think 240 pigment mixes. So she was introducing like six and eight and 12 at a time. So she just came out with a new uh, adding additional colors to the line. Are you going to use the round stencil? Thank you. Yes, I am. Oh, you know what? Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I'm telling you, you guys got to keep me straight. I'll use a round one over this and not this. Because you guys have seen this before. And you can find this online if you're interested. But this I, this is one of my favorites. I love this stencil. Looks very mermaid easy. I'm guessing you got that one. So here's Joan's round ones. I'm going to put this one in white around here. Let's see what happens. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, thanks, Jean. I'm going to go around the edge. Because see how she designed the edge, too? The edge isn't uh, just round. She's smart that way. Let's go around like this, too. And just... Pouncy, pouncy, pouncy. This is looking kind of steampunky. Made another word up, steampunky. So let's just go ahead and do the whole thing. Little star, starry flowers. The zigzag. This is the little lines and dots that I did with the gold rose gold foil the other night. My new job spokesperson. Uh, I do a lot better selling other people's stuff than my own stuff. That seems ridiculous, but it's probably true. I never want anybody to buy my stuff or anybody's stuff, really. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. You don't need it. You can live without it. But if you do want to buy it, you can't afford it. They are really a lot of fun. 
Okay. That looks like a big old white mess. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Ooh, that would, that, uh, I'm not sure where that would sell, Jean. Oh, look at you. Hello, lover. Let's put this on something while it's all painted up. Oh, shit. Oop, I said shit again. That's two shits in a mound, I think, is the way that goes. Hey, Kathy. You been out gallivanting, have you, on a Friday night, tearing it up out there in the cornfields? I know how you roll. <coughs> All right, I'm going to wipe that off on there. That didn't show up very well on there. I didn't expect it would, but on the other hand, I love that grouped edge, Joan. That was a little stroke of genius you had there to make that look like a gear. It's a little tipped over a few cows. You're a maniac, I'm telling you. Cow tipping. Well, I won't say what I call what I call you at the retreat, uh, uh, but you know. <laughs> oh Lord of mercy, we do have some fun there. I got to tell you. Let's since I got white on here, let's do. I know, Joan, you're giving giving yourself more ideas. Let's do white and um, this dark purple. <laughs> My quotes are a little spicier. Well, you know, I try not to offend the masses, but every once in a while, something slips out. Oh, I got too much paint. Son of a bitch. Like that. That's the one I was famous for at Remy, I do believe. Kim, if you're still here. I always, if you see me posting on any of Jody or Jean's posts and saying SOB, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see. Will you fit on here? Look at you, you perfect little thing. I'm going to put that on black. <laughs> I'm an acquired taste. Let's just say that. I had one lady years back left me a... <laughs> this was so... Starts with an H. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, this lady left me a comment several years ago and I actually listened back to the video to see what she was talking about and I think somewhere in the video I just went like ah crap well she was showing the video to I guess some students and she was completely offended that I used that foul language and she was showing it to her kid Now you thought she would have listened to the whole thing before she would have broadcast it but anyway, I just got kind of tickled over that one. Oh, Lainey, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, look at you, you little lavender lover. Well, I got a couple blobs of purple in the middle there, but that's the nature of the beast. But you can see all the designs that come with that one. That's pretty groovy. Now look at all this. I got to do something with all this. Let's try it. Oh, hang on. Let me get the stencil out of there. I'm just, what time is it? 10.40. Oh, I got 15 minutes. I only want to go for two hours. I've been running around all day. Work from home. I'd take my mom to the cardiologist for her checkup. They were running an hour and a half behind because the doctor's retiring and he's spending extra time with everybody. My good Lord. Yeah, that was a lot of extra paint. Let's try to... Oh. This is just a I 
I know, right? But anyway, oh, you can't please them all. <coughs> Excuse me. I never did do a cleanup print. So we're almost at the end of the night. I will do one, but let me show you this one next. And then I think I have all of Jones inked up. Or do, oh, no, I don't. I do not. That was not true. Um, oh, yeah, I think so. That's the one I do with the watercolor. That's the one I lifted. I really like doing that lifted technique with the watercolor. Mama liked that one. Oh, I got these other. Well, we, we got two more days. So I'll show you the other ones. I got the badass ones. Some of those are pretty cool. Let me show you this real quick. Under the badass uh, designer on um, eye stencils. She's got these designs called triple threats now. And I got a couple of them. Um. Black paper, please. So, you know, she's got the, um, she does her regular uh, designs and she's got these bat wing designs. I have some of those too. They're down deeper. Here they are. That are shaped like this, right? She's got these. She's got all kind of stuff. Really cool, funky stuff. And she's got these that are cut up in sections. Right. And um, she's got these little ones. They're called BAMs, I think. And then she's got even smaller ones for like ATCs. Or Actually, her stencils are made for tattoos. Oh, you did get one of the triple threats. Okay, cool. Well, these are made so that you can cut them out. Right. See how there's a, a, oop, hello, a dotted um, or a slit line around there where you can cut each one of these out and separate it from the square one. But I love the look of this. That looks really cool. Oh, you know what? I bet this one would look really cool if we watercolored, then lifted, and then outlined with a gel pen. Ooh, we'll do that tomorrow. And here, look, at, did you see this one, Z? This one's called Merfolk. Like, like folks, like a lot of folks, but it's Merfolk. All different size um, scales. Um, and yeah, this is badass. Um, it's called BAT, B A T B A T T, badass triple threat. Merfolk, number 7022. Yes, you must see this one. I knew you'd like that one. So we'll play with those tomorrow. And look at this one I got from Daniel Donaldson little palette. So I guess really we'd have to like pounce through that. I could jelly print over it, but it's a lot of waste because only those fine lines, it's really hard to get a good jelly print um, with um, skinny lines like that. Unless you use deli. If you use cardstock, forget it. You'll never get a really great print, but you can definitely pounce through this and get a good print. So there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I wonder why she didn't do twelve. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're not exactly lined up. I want to make sure. So they're only eleven wide. Hmm. It's too bad she didn't turn it the other way and make it twelve wide, so you could actually use it as a squat, as a, a squash, as a swatch card. Huh. That's too bad. Anyway. There are smarter people than me designing these stencils. So um, anyway, we'll play with some of those. And then I got some of these geometric ones. They call them, Man I think they're Mandela's on the on the um, site. Oh, there's my black paper again. New. This one would make a cool cleanup print. And then there's like a flourish one. I thought that would be cool to trace and then watercolor it. And this one. <clears throat> and this one. They just keep coming. <clears throat> yeah, I actually have a puzzle stencil too, but it's it's a bigger stencil and there's a lot more pieces that go through it. But it looks, it's similar but different than this one. I don't know how to tell you that without looking at it again myself because I did it quite some time ago, but um, I wanted to do it for um, autism. 
<clears throat> so what are we going to do? Let's do one more. One more print. Let's see. Um, why am I struggling with what color to use when we only have a couple minutes and I'm going to clean it up? Let's do something. I'll get different paints out here for you guys tomorrow. I know you get sick of seeing my colors. <laughs> but, you know, I have to suck it up and hang in there. And you can always request to see something in a certain palette. And I'll be happy to accommodate. Lord knows I will have the colors in one paint line or the other. Damn crickets. Crickets. <clears throat> and this one has, I can see waves in this edge of this one, Sandra. Um, little mountain peaks and just, just an abstract rough edge, really. Everybody sees something different. Cece kills me with my stencils when she uses them in her watercolors. Which she sees in some of mine, I would have never, uh, I'd have never seen that. I mean, she uses a lot of those stacked ones where you have the same at the same design. Um, she uses them for um, like skyscrapers. She likes to do cityscapes, and uh, that little bit of PBO green made that whole thing look metallic. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer or not. This lag is killing me. I hope this resolves itself for tomorrow. So one more time before I sign off, I want to let you guys know that iStencils is aware that there's an issue checking out with PayPal. Um, the iStencil designers are working with PayPal designers all day today, and they're still going to be working on it. Don't know when it's going to get... Um, uh, resolved but you will not miss out on the sale no matter when it gets resolved if you try to if your only option is to use paypal for the way you spend or budget or whatever if you don't want a credit card build if you don't have a credit card whatever email your order to sherry c-h-e-r-i you don't need to know her name really but at mail at istencils.com before the sale ends at midnight eastern sunday Tell her what you want to order. Your order is going to be good. She'll she'll send you an invoice on Monday, and they'll get that sorted. Um, she'll get your order, and you'll you will get the discount. You if you qualify, you get the free stencil and the free shipping and uh, the gift certificate. You'll get all of that, whatever you would qualify for with what you spend. Um, you will not miss out. She will make sure of that. So. Um, don't fret if it doesn't work. That's a known issue. It's really difficult. Um, remind me of those tomorrow, Jean, if you're on, because I'm going to wrap it up now. It's almost 11. I'm going to pull this and do a cleanup print, and then I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. I'm kind of poop, pooped. So, um, and for the ones that came in that might be new, this is the full deal. Joan 25 is the coupon code. Joan Smithies has a new line with eye stencils. You'll find them on the site under my heading, Patty Parish. Um, if you spend $25, um, I'm sorry, it, it's 25% off the entire site, which is close to 4,000 stencils. Not just mine and Joan's, the whole site. If you spend $50, you get the free exclusive, which is this one here. And you, if you're in the U.S., you get free shipping. If you spend $75, you get a $10 gift certificate to use toward a future purchase. If you're watching on YouTube, turn the live chat on to your right. And um, you can see all the links um, that are being mentioned here with the eye stencil links and so forth. Um, 
So that's the deal. And the known problem, hopefully it gets sorted before this is over with. We can't make any promises. And Sherry is very sorry about the inconvenience and we'll take care of everybody. And those of you who've dealt with her knows that she's got the best customer service out there. Yes, Joan, he got home um, actually earlier than I expected today. He got home around noon. So he's on Oakley duty upstairs. Bless his heart. That's why I want to not spend too much more time down here. As soon as he got home, I had to turn around and go take my mom. Well, it was a little later than that, but I had to take my mom to the cardiologist. And um, I was a little busy. So let me let me lift a little bit more of this wet paint off there. She, Yeah, she, Sherry will, whatever she tells you, take it to the bank. She is the best. Night, Sharon. All right. Oh, that is dry. So, oh, that should be a cool one then if that's if that much is still left there to pick up. So, what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I told you I was going to do it through a stencil, didn't I? Well, now let's find the appropriate one, Patty. Don't lie to the ladies and gentlemen this late at night. No fibs, please. Not friends in the box. No lies is what I meant to say. Oh, this is cool. I haven't dirtied this one up yet. Well, that fit. Oh, no, this is a eye stencil that's too big for that plate. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. I'm trying to find one that's got big openings. Oh, I never used pictographs. What the hell am I thinking? And I forgot to use the stripes one. I just saw them in my little bin there. So I'm going to use. Um, Since a lot of that shimmer, I wonder if I should use black paint to do the cleanup. Oh, what the hell? It's the only way you figure out how to, if it works or not, right? That's dry black. So a lot of the stuff that's not shimmery might not show. But, okay, stop with the paint. There we go. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Got a little tickle coming back. Uh, my, uh, I've told you guys about my test coming back clear. Um, another thing that had me a little concerned, not that it's a hereditary thing, but my cousin uh, just had lung surgery Wednesday and had her upper left lobe removed because she had lung cancer. So, now I wonder if I got too much black on there. I don't know, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? It's a piece of freaking deli paper. Even if I, oh, if, it, ha, if I totally hose it up as I just did there, it's just a piece of deli. And I'll probably just rip a piece of this off and use it. Um, she's doing really well, Joan, actually. So far, really good. She'll have to do some chemo. Um, yeah, that's cleaning it up pretty good. But usually when I do them on deli like this, when I use them in collage, I'll just rip a piece of it off. So that this happened, it's not a big deal. Joan, you're going to be pooped. Thanks for hanging in there the whole time. I was trying to vary. Well, tonight I had to do it late because of, of getting back late with my mom. Um, but um, tomorrow and Sunday will be easier on you. Uh, Joan's in the UK. If most of you know that. Um, and it is, uh, what is it, 4 a.m. there, Joan? All right, cleanup print. Okay, well, you can see some of it. You can't see a ton of it, but you can see some of the shimmer in there. But you see it in the design of the stencil, right? So that's kind of cool. Not my best example, but cool nonetheless. So I'm going to pick up the rest of this, try to clean these holes out best I can. 
because what's under the stencil will also lift up in the shape of the stencil, not the stencil hole. Right? So you're going to be jet lagged and not even going anywhere, Joan. I'll just pick that up to get it out of the way. Now under here, I'm going to pick this up on Deli. This design should still have, uh, should pick up with the same, you know, clean up bits in it. I'm going to put this down and just clean the back of this off on here, making a little sandwich. This one is mine. It's called uh, interlocking. Oh, you know what? This was a freebie one time. I'm not 100% I'm not sure if it's out there for sale or if it's... I don't know. Or maybe I shouldn't have used that one without checking first. Dumbass. <laughs> You're on the night shift, Joan. So there's that one. And you can see in the little bits there, all that good stuff it cleaned up off the plate. A lot of shimmer. This lag's killing me with this focus deal here. But that's all through that design. All right. And now look. I'm going to take for this. I'm going to take my tight end buff. Otherwise known as tight and buff. And put a real thin skim layer on here. Because I just want it to marry to that dry paint. And... Stick to the paper without having a lot of excess paint. So look at my self-control with the paint there. Yay, me. <laughs> um, another piece of deli. All right. And this one, I'm really going to rub a dub. It is on the side. Oh, good. Thanks, Jean. So the cleanups, I rub extra good all around the edges. So I want to get that wet paint against that dry paint and make it all stick to the paper. And you thought that was pretty clean, but you can see all the crap that was still on the plate. And actually, this is a really cool print which is that faint outline of this little showing. A little bit of the shimmer kicks in around the edges. You can see some of the PBO green in there. I don't know if I can catch it on the light or not. Let's go with not. You just have to trust me. Here's a little blob of it right here. Here we go. This is a better blob. On the edge. Well, oh, dang on it. This lag is re really hard to get it up close and focused because when I get it there and then have to move it, there's a lag and I don't know where I'm moving it to. If that makes any sense. The people who stream will know what I'm talking about. Everybody else will think I'm crazy as most people usually do. So let's leave it at that. So uh, I'm going to go back to this real quick and see how this looks. That's still kind of damp. That's that 3D um, transparent gel by Finibar. But I use those holographic pigments in there. Let's see if you can see them a little bit more. And then we're going to say goodbye. You can see them. That's the silver. Let's come over to the gold. Oh, hello. Focus from Mama. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see them. And this is that cosmic bronze. Joan. We might be doing another order at some time, my friend. <laughs> 11 tomorrow. Yes, Kim. 11 a.m. tomorrow. I'll be back on for a couple hours. Then I got to jump off because Mr. Oakley's having an attitude adjustment tomorrow with the trainer coming to the house. 
um, for a private private lesson. And uh, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow. Do the same thing. This is my favorite of the night, and that's thanks to Zandra's brilliant idea. Get that rascal. That's Jones stencil and the ultra metallic paints and then white acrylic dotted over the circles. Uh. <laughs> it might be like detention, but it's funny. Whenever we go to training, he's like, he aces everything. He like, he knows and he like, he turns it on and they're saying, Patty, I don't, are you exaggerating? Cause he's really good. He's really not. You got to come to the house. He actually, I shouldn't say that. He is pretty good. He just is a lab puppy. And occasionally, I'll get a case of the zoomies. Run around like a maniac. Lay down in the middle of the yard and look at you when you tell him to come. That's what we're going to work on tomorrow. I don't care if the hurricane's hitting. We're going to be outside working on that tomorrow. So anyway, all right. Mama got to go. I'm seven minutes over. I'm not getting overtime either. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you hanging with me. Giving me some good suggestions. Your thanks to the mods for all the links and the coaching and uh, hang in there with eye stencils. Uh, they will make it right and you will get your sale. So not to worry about that if, you're, if your transaction doesn't go through the first time. Just use that email and we'll get her sorted. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Night.